London is left with traffic jams. Were the 90s gayer, or was it that laughter could be heard? But that's a sentimental thought. And the big thought today is how to cope with so much traffic. The 90s wouldn't have thought of a name like the Department of Scientific and Industrial Research, but that's the body who are studying traffic at Crowthorn in Berkshire. They're seeing how many vehicles it takes to bring a roundabout to a standstill. It's a serious business trying to solve the traffic problem, and they're searching not for the past, but for the future. In this experiment, they're using all those cars and vans and lorries to find out the most efficient layout of roads to avoid jams. It seems fantastic, doesn't it, that all this trouble should be taken to make life even faster. From every position, they're examining the normal reactions of drivers. Normal reactions? Well, not quite. Unfortunately, nobody drives quite as well as they do when they're being watched. This is a telemetric recording vehicle where data is received from observers in the form of signals which are then recorded, scientific stuff. But it takes a long time to analyze the information. It takes an even longer time to build suitable roads in cities where the past never visualized the dominance of the motor car. So, we're still left with traffic jams. Oh, let's get away from petrol fumes and visit 